Frame, the online bowling channel is proud to present the title match of the PBA East Region Players Invitational. Maple City Bowl in Hornell, New York. We have our final match. Hello again, everybody. Mike J. Lane side with the architect, Mac Freiberg, and the internet bowling personality is Jeff Goodger. We've got Rick Graham and Brian LeClaire doing battle one game for the East Region Players Invitational title. Yeah, a lot riding on this. I think uh, Rick Graham is looking for, looking for a good match. Brian LeClaire definitely wants to get back out on the stage and be on the national tour again and uh, strut his stuff with those guys out there. There's a lot on the line, Jeff Goodger. Big money here in the East Region title match and a lot of implications down the road. $6,000, a spot in the, the portion of the show with the RPI winners. Free entry into the World Series. Both these guys want to win this thing, and it could go either way. Watching these guys bowl all day, both of them, they've both been bowling all day and uh, putting strikes together when they need them, and they've made it here. Matthew, we're bowling on the 39-foot Tournament of Champions pattern. We've seen it on synthetics across the RPI, but here in Hornell, we're on the natural surface. Yeah, I think that it has a lot to do with who's, uh, who's making it into the round of 16, but uh, I believe that these guys would be a uh, great shoe-in for the, uh, the at least the top eight, whether they were bowling on wood or synthetic, and Brian LeClaire is really good on, on any surface. Final shots of practice, and Russ Mills is ready to turn them loose. Here we go. Title match. PBA East Region Players Invitational. Rick Graham and Brian LeClaire. Here's LeClaire's path to the title match. He beat Jason Statler and Tommy Dacavanos and Robert Makinot taking out Simonelli in the one game semifinal. Rick Graham on the other side beat Rusty Thompson, Tommy Golick, Joe Paluzic in best of five matchups and took out Adam Chase in the semifinal. Russ Mills has indicated that LeClaire will open the match on the left lane. Here we go. Six grand on the line, free World Series of Bowling entry and seating in the RPI Finals to be recorded for ESPN at the World Series of Bowling. Opening shot wide in trouble for LeClaire, the two, the four, and the ten with the eight. Interesting uh, choice for Brian LeClaire. He's choosing to use that blue ball rather than the deranged that he used to finish the match out against Simonelli. That ball looked really good. Maybe it was just that one pair that had the, uh, he had the edge with that ball, but hard to not give that ball a sniff. This is 15-16 at Maple City Bowl, 32 lane facility, and it's a fresh pair, Matthew. These guys only had five minutes to alter it. Yeah, I don't think that they were looking too much to uh, change the pattern per se as to see if the right lane was hooking more than left lane or tighter than the left lane. Usually with wood houses, one lane will be much more prominent of a change. Classic style of Graham, waist high, drills the rack. Great shot. Big thanks to Maple City Dodge here in Hornell for their support of the East Region Players Invitational as well as my 93.9. Also to the staff, the proprietors, and our event organizers, Steve and Sharon Crandall, big thanks for hosting this East Region Players Invitational. Title match rolls on. Graham looking to build upon the strike. And the four and the 10 remain. Graham looking for his third career PBA regional title. Very makeable with all that friction on the left side of the lane. Should make it a little bit easier for him to slide the four pin over.
Gave it a run, open frame. Brian McClare looking for his 15th career PBA regional title. That looked good right off his hand, Matt. Yeah, you want to talk about classic style. He's got a, a nice short swing with some, it actually has a, a little bit of length to it, which is odd to odd to say, but it only goes about shorter height, but it, it covers a lot of space. He doesn't chop it on the way down. He doesn't get too steep. Keeps his wrist in a nice firm position and rarely grabs it. Sometimes he thumbs it down, but doesn't grab it too much. And you just uh, follow through right through your target. Yeah, another one, pretty. Two pretty swings there from Brian LeClaire. And he's got a double after that open in the first. And a lead here in our championship match. 48 players were invited to compete, the top 48 in the PBA East region. And they bowled 12 games of qualifying yesterday. The top 16 advanced to match play. And these are the two survivors. Very nice. Rick Graham, one of the better shot makers of the day so far. Brian LeClaire, one of the better shot makers in the field. Makes sense, bowling on a tough pattern. Not a lot of area out there. Held, not enough to take the nine. Kind of surprised that one held. That was quite a bit in. Got on the lane a little quick, kind of dumped it in the lane there. That probably helped it roll out just a little, a little sooner than it had been, which would help it start going forward a little, a little sooner as well. So with a spare, Leclerc leads by ten pins. Down goes Nueve. And Brian Clare steps up. 10 pin lead on a double. Opened with the two, four, eight, and 10, but he's come back with just two pure pocket hits. Walked it out. Those are three really nice, long, fluid strokes right there. No yep. doubters. As you mentioned, not an ounce of grab. And with that angle, you could just it's just pretty off his hand. It just goes to, goes to show you that you don't have to have a really big, high long, tall backswing like a Tommy Jones or Dan McClellan to create some power through the pins. As long as your leverage is in proper spots, you can create just as much power as anybody else. It skates a little wide, not enough to come back and crumble the bucket combination and now the Baby split on the other side, the two and the seven left for LeClaire. Now that was the opposite of a grab. That was a whiff through the yeah, bottom. Yeah, just squirted just enough. That's one of those shots where you, 
He doesn't grab it. He just kind of thumbs down, gets around it. That's exactly what that shot was. Nice conversion. Good camera work there as we see the two and the seven taken out. Eighteen pin lead for Brian LeClaire. Rick Graham steps up in the fifth. And Rick Pierce one of his own. I'm still in the building. Yeah, he's had the right lane for the last two games. Hasn't missed on the right lane yet. Nice crowd here gathered at Maple City Bowl. Everybody dialed in to our championship match. We hope you're enjoying it live on the online bowling channel. Mike J. Laneside with the architect, Mark, Matt Freiberg, and the internet bowling personality driving the bus. That's Jeff Goodger. Rick Graham, key shot in the match. Chance to uh, double here and cut into the LeClaire lead. Six frame. Yeah, that was in all the way. Yeah, definitely doesn't have as much hold on the left lane as he does on the right lane. Partially because the ball return is there on the right lane. That's double wood as well, the three and the nine. We saw a big three nine conversion yesterday from Ryan Schaefer to get into match play. Yeah, I'd be hard pressed to think that Rick Graham is gonna be using a plastic ball shooting the three nine. Nice cover. Very nice. Making it look easy. Clear down two. Yeah, 86 in the fourth for LeClaire, and that's a 14 pin advantage for Brian. He struck both times on this right lane. He gets a third crack at it now. Sixth frame championship match. Oh, you got to be kidding. Seven pin. Oh. The one tap that I just never see coming. That, that is just, uh, that's one of the tougher. Talk about your eights and your nines and your ring tens. That, yeah. that is a tough, tough hit. That's almost just as bad as a stone eight. I mean, it's hard to pinpoint where your ball went wrong through the pins when the four pin wraps around the seven pin as a right-hander. It just gets one mega board too high with the right angle and speed that just Cream everything right by the seven. Yeah, it's very unfortunate break right there. But I believe he's still carrying about a 17 pin lead, so. Got away with that one. Graham stepping up in the seventh frame. Chance to double and take the lead back.
Winner earns $6,000, free entry to the World Series of Bowling, and seeding into the RPI Finals for ESPN at the World Series. And will become the fifth champion in our RPI Series and avoids the double wood. I feel the look going away. Yeah, he's... Uh, for both players. He's definitely got a little bit of wiggle down lane, trying to force it up the lane because of that reason. And uh, Brian LeClaire is just, in my opinion, not throwing the last couple frame those shots very well. So I think his look is a little bit better than Rick's at the moment. <coughs> Covered it, but enough to raise the blood pressure two or three points on the distalic side. Grab di grabbing a different ball. Almost have to assume it's the IQ that he went to the other games. That was in all the way. And now that beastie. We've seen it shot every way possible. Let's see which one he decides. Gonna hook at it. Ten pin remains. Three, six, nine, ten claims another. Brian LeClaire has a great opportunity to double in the eighth and ninth and pretty much shut out with him. Yeah, best Graham can do now is one eight two. And LeClaire pacing a small two. I believe it's one ninety two for Rick Graham. 32 in the eighth. Yeah. Bang. That looked more like he strung earlier in this game. When he struck in the second through the fourth, strike up. Now for Leclerc. Pace in 203. Liked it, walked it, mixed it. Double for Brian LeClaire. He knows it's all but over. Rick Graham needs a four bagger to force Brian LeClaire to show up in the 10th frame. Right-hander's best friend, J. Trip four. Yeah, all Rick can do is fill her up. And uh, put a 192 on the board. Do what he can do. That's all you can do. That's going to uh, unofficially 
declare Brian LeClaire our winner. We'll let him hit some pins. And I'm going to run down to the lanes and uh, see if we can talk with our winner. Runner-up finish for Rick Graham, two-time PBA regional titleist and runner-up here in the PBA East Region Players Invitational. They'll fast track to the finish. Two of the, ve the best shot makers out here in this tournament, bowling one and two. Brian LeClaire, you just won the PBA East Region Players Invitational, $6,000. And a PBA World Series of Bowling entry and seating on the PBA RPI Finals at the World Series. Congratulations, I'm gonna go down and talk to him. How about that, Matt Freiberg? Brian LeClaire started as early as anybody this morning, came all the way through the bracket and wins the title, joining the other RPI winners in the World Series. Yeah, Rick Graham as well, bowling since 9 a.m. Bowled better than most all day and Brian LeClaire hadn't been on our feature pair a whole lot up until now, but proven anybody he's still got it well-deserved round of applause there's Russ Mills East region manager I and believe this is exactly what Ryan Schaefer was talking about when he said I wish Brian LeClaire knew how good he was so he can do this more often exactly and Mike Jay standing by Mike Jay truly lane side now standing by with Brian LeClaire Man, long day at the office. Yeah, you know, I've uh, never won anything big in my life. You know, I've gotten beat a couple times by Walter on TV for second. And, I've, you know, I've got some regional titles, but it's finally good to win something big. And, you know, I, I'm lucky to be with uh, Storm and Road Grip. It's, they make great bowling balls, and I'm they stuck with me throughout the years. And uh, I put some hard work in, and, and, and you know, I'm – I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, congratulations, first of all. $6,000 and uh, the free entry to the World Series of Bowling are we going to see in Las Vegas? I'm already entered, and uh, I told somebody this would uh, probably be the last uh, World Series I ever bowl, but who knows, maybe with a little success, I'll go back again. And we'll see you in the PBA RPI Finals coming up, uh, one of the shows at the World Series of Bowling this year. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've been on TV, so uh, I can't wait. Well, take us through the matchup today. Four times we've seen the 39-foot Tournament of Champions pattern on synthetics, and here it played on the wood. Uh, what did you see both in qualifying and match play? Well, I told somebody yesterday when I was getting interviewed for paper, paper that uh, I would bowl in the parking lot because the harder the lane conditions are, the better for me. And I know uh, some of the, the, the wood conditions are a lot of people aren't used to, but, you know, they played pretty, pretty similar as yesterday. Uh, uh, pair to pair was a little bit tricky, uh, you know, against Ryan. I decided to move right, and the, little, the middle lane didn't look very good, and uh, I made the right decision, made some good shots playing playing right. Uh, I got lucky in the one match against uh, Robert Mockenhop. I was, you know, I had 50 in the fifth that last game, and uh, I tried to do something that I hadn't done the whole tournament, and uh, I threw the last seven, you know, to shoot 200 after having 50 in the fifth, and, you know, this was an amazing week. Uh, I got some good breaks at the right times, and, uh, I don't know, it's good to win. And championship match, you strung three perfect shots in the second, third, and fourth. It went away for a moment. How'd you find it again? Well, I just didn't throw it good. I needed to throw it better, and I just told myself to get up there and throw it better. Uh, the left lane, uh, I saw, <laughs> I'm lost right now. I, I, I'm, I saw Rick go, you know, have, have uh, trouble in the left lane, and uh, I, I, I thought the lane was tighter down the lane, but then in the one shot I threw, I went a little high, and it was a really good shot. And uh, I moved left when I got up in the ninth frame, and I said, just throw it good and keep it firm, and, but keep it on line. And uh, it struck, and then I pretty much knew I had it. Do you bowl 15 or 16 pounds? I throw 15s. You throw 15s. Do you think you can lift a 25-pound trophy? Oh, I, absolutely. <laughs> With one hand today. <laughs> Brian LeClaire, champion here in the East Region Players Invitational, and the award ceremony is coming up next.